I will and I am going to. A very confusing concept is when to use will and when to use be going to when we refer to the future. Both refer to the future, but there is a slight difference. But in most common cases, they can be used interchangeably, with no difference in meaning. Even if you misuse them, a native speaker is going to understand you without any problem. When to use going to? The structure be going to is normally used to indicate the future, but with some type of connection to the present. We use it in the following situation. 1. When we had already decided or we intend to do something in the future, they are going to retire to the beach. In fact, they have already bought a little beach house. 2. When there are definite signs that something is going to happen, I think it's going to rain. I just felt a drop. 3. When something is about to happen, get back, the bomb is going to explode. When we use will, in other cases, there is no implicit or explicit connection to the present. We use will for 1. Things that we decided to do now. I'll buy one for you too. I think I will try one of those. I have decided this right now. 2. When we think or believe something about the future. My team will not win the league this season. I think it will rain later, so take an umbrella with you. 3. To make an offer, a promise or a threat. I'll give you a discount if you buy it right now. I promise I will behave next time. Going to or will. When we want to talk about future facts or things we believe to be true about the future, we use will. The president will serve for four years. The boss won't be very happy. I'm sure you will like her. I'm certain he will do a good job. If we are not so certain about the future, we use will with expressions such as probably, possibly, I think, I hope. I hope you will visit me in my house one day. She will probably be a great success. I will possibly come, but I may not get back in time. I think we will get on well. If you are making a future prediction based on evidence in the present situation, use going to. Not a cloud in the sky. It's going to be another warm day. Look at the queue. We are not going to get in for hours. The traffic is terrible. We are going to miss our flight. Be careful. You are going to spill your coffee. At the moment of making decision, use will. Once you have made the decision, talk about it using going to. I'll call Jenny to let her know. Sarah, I need Jenny's number. I'm going to call her about the meeting. I'll come and have a drink with you, but I must let Harry know. Harry, I am going to have a drink with Simon. Will plus infinitive. A decision at the moment of speaking. Julie, there is no milk. John, really? In that case, I'll go and get some. A prediction based on opinion. I think the Conservatives will win the next election. A future fact. The sun will rise tomorrow. For promises, requests, refusals, offers. I will help you tomorrow if you like. Be going plus infinitive. A decision before the moment of speaking. Julie.
There is no milk. John, I know. I'm going to go and get some when the TV program finishes. A prediction based on something we can see or hear now. The Conservatives are going to win the election. They already have most of the votes. More examples. The phone rings. Julie, I'll get it. I'm going to get it is very strange. Because it makes us think that Julie knew the phone was going to ring before it did. I'm going to go on holiday next week. I'll go on holiday next week. Makes it sound like you have only just decided at that minute. Of course, this is possible. But normally we plan our holiday more in advance. Other points about the future. We use the present continuous tense for definite future arrangements. Often it doesn't really matter if we choose be going to or the present continuous. In the following examples there is really very little difference in meaning. I am going to the cinema tonight. I am going to go to the cinema tonight. We use the present simple tense in two cases. First we use it for the timetable event in the future, like public transport or the start of a class. My train leaves at 6 tonight. His class starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Second, we use it after certain words, when the sentence has a future meaning. These words are before, after, as soon as, until, when. I'll call you when I get home. She's going to study after she finishes dinner. Please drink some water as soon as you complete the race. Now let's get down to practice. The sun will rise at 6.30 tomorrow. Lunch break today will be 10 minutes longer than usual. In the year 2050, all students will have their own computers in school. If you help me, I will help you. Do you think she will come soon? You won't pass your exam if you don't start working harder. I know my parents won't let me go to the party. Will it snow for Christmas? I know she is sick, but will she be back in school tomorrow? We are going to buy a new car next month. I am going to work in a bank when I leave school. In the new year I am going to stop eating so much junk. He is not going to go to the dance. He has got too much work. I am not going to watch TV until my science project is finished. Are you going to play basketball after school? What are you going to have for lunch today? I am meeting my mother at the airport tomorrow. Our grandparents are visiting us this Christmas. Sorry, I can't stay after school today. I am playing tennis with John Sik. My sister is going to the dentist tomorrow. I am not returning home for the holidays, so I can come home to the party after all. Are you doing anything on Sunday morning? Hurry up, the train departs in 10 minutes. I leave Frankfurt at 5 o'clock in the morning and arrive in New York at midnight the next day. She has an appointment with the headmaster after school today. There is no need to hurry. The train doesn't leave for another 30 minutes. When does the meeting begin? Now let's have some trial test. You have to choose right answer. That's the phone. I answer it. A will B am going to C is a can be used.